Good afternoon. Happy Wednesday. It's time for the Tulip Tribe collaboration. Thanks for joining me. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We're talking Halloween. Teacher Marisa is here. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. And now we're on Instagram. We've got all three of them going. So YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, welcome. Glad you're all here. It's kind of fun. We've got cameras everywhere. It's going to be kind of chaotic, but in a very good way. The team is all here. We've got David working technology. Carolyn's here to be the voice from the dark. She'll be watching for your comments and questions and making sure and verbalizing them for us so that we can get them answered. Marisa will be on camera with me. We've got Caledonia and Susie helping us out, making sure that they're monitoring and greeting you and being part of it. And we have you here watching us, joining us, being part of the collaboration. As we get started, take a moment, type in where you're from, greet each other. If you're part of the Tulip Tribe, add your tulip so that everybody knows, because it's really a chance for the tribe you to connect and get to know each other. We all support each other, we all help, we have so much to share. And speaking of sharing, I wanted to show you what we got shared today. I'm so excited. Jim Gregg stopped by and I was supposed to meet him at one o'clock and then I got delayed, life got a little complicated today. Actually a lot complicated, but you know that's the way life is. It just gets kind of messy sometimes. So I missed him, but he brought over some amazing treasures. Do you recognize? David, what you got there? Teacher Michelle is on. Hey, Teacher Michelle, yay. So Teacher Michelle and her mom, Myrna, are both watching us and joining us today. And I dressed just for you. Notice my orange beaver mania. Some would say it was for Halloween, but really it's all for you, Myrna. Got my orange, my beaver, so that you and Michelle felt at home. And I'll be cheering along the beavers the next time wearing my orange, so this is for you. But back to the Osage oranges. Some people call them hedge apples or horse apples. But Jim brought us three huge bags of them. I can't wait to share them with you. We'll be using them in some design videos that you'll find later on. We're not going to work with them today, but I wanted to just show you how exciting those are. So that was a special treat that was shared with us. He also brought in the beauty berry or calicarpa. It's amazing purple berries that grows here in the Pacific Northwest. It's kind of a, a messy bush, so a lot of people don't plant it because it just kind of gets crazy. But the berries are just amazing. That wonderful, wonderful purple, so grand. And then look at these leaves. Oh my, maple that is just so flame inspired. Great colors and then some different evergreens that he brought in. This is going to be a lot of fun, but let's get these out of the way. Now, Carolyn, David, have we got a lot of fun things going on out there? We do. Uh, YouTube is very international so far. Australia, Canada, and Sweden. Australia, Canada, and Sweden. Welcome. And we've got Gayla, Marmac, and Alana on um, Facebook. Okay. So it's so grand to have you all. I'm honored that you give up an hour of your life and come join us. If you haven't already, tag a friend, share this out, invite them to see, because we've got some beautiful, awe-inspiring, horrific, amazing Halloween decor to share with you. It's going to be so much fun. So invite your friends to join us and get a little watch party going so that we all can have some Halloween fun. We're going to do something a little bit different this time. You may have noticed that I have an extra phone up here on a little tabletop tripod. As Marisa works, I'm going to try to follow along on Instagram myself so that I can say, hey, how, how are you? Yeah. And I'll put my glasses on so I can really see because I won't be able to. And see, there we go. And I see that I've got Glenna Joy flowers and Brodo and flowers. We've got so many different things. Um, hello there, people. I'm so excited to see you here. I'll put my little wave in there so you can see that I came in. So it's kind of fun. So I'm going to try to monitor this one as well, just because 
it's fun. Um, if you are watching us on your phone, don't forget that if you're on Facebook, you can turn it sideways and get a larger picture, same as YouTube. If the comments are bothering you, you can swipe it to the side, it'll go in silent mode so that you just see the picture. And then if you want to see the comments, swipe it back, they'll come back. Or if you watch it vertically, the comments will be down on the bottom. So you've got your choices there. If you're watching us on your computer or a pad or something like that, you can go full screen and get a much bigger picture. If you're on Instagram, it's vertical. And then we have that camera set vertically. So on Instagram, you're only seeing to right here. And now on Instagram people, you see my hand, it's kind of ending at that point. If you're on YouTube or on Facebook, you know that the set keeps going clear over here. So if you want to see a different picture and just kind of look at it, see what it looks like. Because on Instagram, you're seeing more height. You've got a little more room this way than you get on Facebook or YouTube. Facebook and YouTube, you're getting this wider expanse that you see the bigger area. It's kind of fun. So you might experiment popping between the different channels, seeing which experience you like best. If you are watching it on YouTube, you can hook it to your TV and get that big screen experience. You can see our wrinkles up close and fabulous, you know, the whole thing. Look and see if we got lipstick on our teeth because it would show. But it's kind of fun. Be aware. You can watch in any way you want to. And then I'll be watching too and kind of following along to see how it all plays together. Because it's new to me. I'm always on this side just talking to you. But I'll get to watch a little bit too. We'll see if that works. I'm not exactly positive. But before we delay too much more, it's time to go ahead and bring Marisa up here so that she can show you so many things. She's got a lot planned. Marisa, why don't you come join me? So Marisa is an instructor in the classroom. Yay! Hi! So we've got the crowd in the audience and <laughs> clapping away. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm so excited. So if you've had her in the classroom, you know what a talent she is and how grand it is. If you've had her as an online teacher, you know how nice it is to get her critiques so that you've got an understanding of where your peaks and valleys are in your design and she can help guide you. If you've never had a class with her, this is your chance. You can see a little bit of what she's all about. I'm going to turn this so we don't have to see ourselves because that's sort of <laughs> distracting. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm staring at myself over here. So I know you planned a whole lot. What? Yeah. Um, so we where always, do we even begin? I know, I, my, you know, you always ask about where my inspiration comes from, and of course with Halloween, I was like, oh yes, there's one. Okay. And the first that. thing that comes to mind is black. Okay. Scary. And then Ooh. it just starts to just one thing leads to another, to this, to that, till to the point where I just don't even know what to do anymore. Okay. So I have to hone in and eliminate and be like, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> so, because there's so much. There's so, so much. And that's the thing. When you do this for so long, you just think it just never stops. Yeah. You know? So, you know, people yeah. say, well, don't you ever run out of ideas? Oh, my gosh, because something else triggers yeah. it. Yeah. But, and you know what's funny? Sometimes when you do get in that little rut where you're like, I don't even know what to do. Honestly, I just, like, step back for a minute and then something will just pop up, and then it's just bing, 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 bing. So, yeah. I think that's a good way of putting it. Because so you do, things. you get a blank slate, and you think, oh my gosh, I'm not creative today. Mm -hmm. And then one thing changes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you can't stop mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. I think that's true. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So what's your first one? What yes. do you have planned? Oh so the, my gosh. Yes. So the very first one, really, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what I'm going to do today. Today, I really wanted to showcase more the characteristic of flowers, the char mm -hmm. characteristics of flowers, and really looking at their forms and focusing on space, negative space, and line, showing that you don't have to use a lot of materials to create floral artistry and or design. So you are so, really focusing on the theories yes, of design. I always do, though. I know, you really <laughs> are. You are a master of the elements and principles and really clarifying yeah. the message you're trying to yes. convey with your floral yes. art yes. as opposed to just being a hot mess. Right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to go there. No. Uh, and then, of course, I didn't want to do the traditional Halloween type designs. So uh, you're going to see things very s simply stated, however impactful, and just something that you wouldn't really see, you wouldn't you wouldn't really see in Halloween, the Halloween designs. Gotcha. So, so it's something new and different. Okay, well, guys. I hope so. <laughs> all in for a treat today. I'm excited. Yes. 
So I'm going to grab something for you really quick. So while she's grabbing, David, Carolyn, what's up out there? Marmac says, yay, Ikebana Halloween style. Love it. <laughs> oh, that's how, good. How did you, she kind of, you almost, yeah. Marmac, you kind of got it. <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we had advanced class last week and we had gardenias already ripped into the box. Uh, however, we had one box left and I could not resist. I'm like, we have to use these yeah. for live. However, how am I gonna incorporate gardenias in Halloween? In Halloween? I'm like, mm, you yeah. don't think of a gardenia. But I was like, I'll figure it out. Of course you will. Yeah. Um, and what's actually really interesting, um, actually on Monday, you're going to do... We've got a corsage yeah. video coming out. Yes. So if you're kind of wondering how you use gardenias in a corsage, um, your Monday email has a how-to video. If you don't get our Monday emails, just subscribe to the newsletter and we'll automatically get that out to you because it's a great video. I had so much fun making it with the gardenias. Mm -hmm. They are so on trend again. Just... You know, they go through phases and right now they're popular again because of that feminine fragrance. I don't know how they can just go in and out on trend because they're just... Oh, they're so they're just so pretty. Oh, yeah. So so pretty. They are the best. Okay, let's see. Clear on the far side. There you go. Yes. Okay. So first, they come in a box of three, and the way that they come, literally, you really don't even want to touch them or look at them because they will brown. But <laughs> just be very very gentle with them. So they come with these plastic leaves around them, which are not really my favorite. They're not the most attractive. Right. So, what, yeah. I'll be a shelf. <laughs> what I ended up doing was I actually took, took off the plastic, and I already prepped these, obviously, but I put Galix leaves around them, fresh material, and you'll see what I'm going to do here because I'm going to end up just floating these, and instead of wiring and taping these, I just used um, bullion wire. I'll show you to attach this here. Because uh, taping and wiring, the tape would get all, you know. A little bit of cooties. I got the green one. Oh, you yeah. got I got the right green one, one over there. Oh. So, let me just bring this out so you can see what I'm actually thinking about. Okay. Gardenias are so grand, and it's one of those most fragrant flowers that is just amazing. Okay. So this is going to be quite simple. Like I said, very impactful. It's so pretty. Uh, and I also, clear glass for me, I just love clear glass. And I really mm -hmm. like to showcase that too. So if you do have clear glass around your home or in your shop, you can really utilize uh, the beauty of clear glass. And the shallow dish is great because you can really just see the mm -hmm. crystal clear. So just a little bit of water in here for our gardenias to float. And, oh, this is going to be interesting having to move this away. <laughs> be very, very careful. Very careful. I was a cocktail waitress when I was in my 20s. Oh, so, so you probably are very good <laughs> at it. Okay. How pretty are these white pumpkins? Oh. So this is also how the, the, where the inspiration came from. Gardenias, white pumpkins. Ghost pumpkins. Oh, is that what they're called? Ghost pumpkins. Boo. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm going to do is just simply place these in here. Like this one has a really wonderful stem to it. Maybe one here and over here. Can you see this, David? Is this? Okay, great. Okay, so really I just want to float these in there. Taking the plastic off because I feel the plastic is going to make this look kind of cheap. So putting a fresh material on this will just elevate it. Definitely. So yeah. I will show you. Oh, I was going to do with this one. There you, you go. I was going to say, do you want to remove the plastic? You're like, no, I no. don't. No, <laughs> you. You get to be in Actually, charge. Actually, I need you to okay. that real quick. I'll go ahead and remove it. So I'm going to go through the Galix sleeves. Galix sleeves, as you all know, come in a bunch of 20. You do want to pay attention to the scale, the size of the Galix sleeve you're going to use. You don't want to use, you know, a big jumbo one because it's going to overpower the beauty of that flower so maybe just a medium size so you can see the artificial that we just took off and you would save that because there may be something somewhere somehow you want to use that form for but for our purposes today we don't need that and then the gardenia itself still has the calyx on it so you can see how that's all still there and then being very careful not to touch the petals. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
There you go. Okay. So here, so you can already see when you took off the plastic. It's not supported mm -hmm. anymore. So this is, that's what the plastic does and the Galax sleeve will do the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is just tip this upside down. Take, I usually do about three and you're just gonna go underneath and collar. Support those little babies. Mm -hmm. And you know, the reason why I also chose to just do a, to do these actually floating, because you could do these in water tubes if you wanted, they actually last quite long when they're just floating. It's amazing, so, as long as they've got a great water source and they're yeah. hydrating, mm -hmm. I think, even from their petals mm -hmm. when they float on there. Right. And then I have my green, or lime green bouillon. Color then, coordinated to yes, your pumpkin. Yes. Of course. I don't know if you'll really see it too much, but that's why I picked the, yes, it the green. It makes sense. Yes. And then it's very similar to wiring, excuse me, taping, if you will, because I'm going to leave one piece of the wire long, and then I'm just going to start to wrap. Actually, it's kind of like your little hand tie, actually. So just yeah. binding up at the top, and then going to just leave that one little piece here hanging out, and then just twisting down just a little bit just to bind the Galax leaf stems to the gardenia stem. I'm just going to go all the way up and then with that piece that's just hanging here, if you can see that, that tail, I'm just going to take those two together and just do a little twist and look. Do you have tin snips? Yeah. There you be. And then some snippies, tin snips, and then just cut. Oops, I need to cut the wire. <laughs> oh, well, close enough. There we go. So guys, if you love gardenias, tap your screen, spread the love. I'll do, add my hearts to it here. There we go. Because they are so short. grand. Short. The studio is just a fragrant paradise right now. Yes. So there is. We may need to put more water in here because it's not deep enough for them to actually float. So hopefully there is enough water in this pitcher here. If not, I can go get you some more. Oh, look, like it's oh, There we go, float. now we're floating. So there's one. And then I already have these ones already prepped here. So maybe one over here. Oh, gotta cut that one a bit shorter. And then, let's see. There. And then the last one over here. Maybe just over to the, that would be their left, right? <laughs> I'm still learning that. On this stage, side. Stage left, <laughs> stage right. One right over here. And we're not done. You're not done. It's no, already beautiful. It is. However, I had to find the right pieces. I have to pull out the cooties. Oh, thank you. Uh. When you put this curly willow up to this, it just unifies with these little stripes in here. And when I was thinking about the gardenias and the pumpkins, I was like, ooh, I wonder if the gardenia is going to be too white against here. Because of the creaminess of the whole but thing. But if you look inside the middle, it's like ivory, and it just... It works. These little things is what gets me excited. I know. <laughs> so, oh. yes. All I am doing is just placing this in here and almost, oops, almost just wrapping around. And because this is square... Oops. The tension from the corners and the pumpkin here is what holds it inside. Adding a dynamic line. Adding a dynamic line. I love it. So mm -hmm. those of you in advance, you know the dynamic side. I just want this one to just come up just a little bit. However, you know what? I don't want to foil. Yes, I will foil. So Carolyn, what have you got there? We there? Go. Got lots of great questions on gardenias. Uh, do they have a season that's a better time to purchase? Or are they more year-round? Most people are saying they're they're afraid to use them because they are so fragile. As far as season goes, I'm really bad with seasons. They're pretty much a year-round item, but they peak in the summertime, so it's harder to get them in the very coldest months, but they are available. And then as far as being fragile, as you've studied with us and taking classes, you know the biggest thing is not touching the petals with your hands because the oils and the heat from your hands will turn them brown. But as long as you don't touch the petals and as you 
um, place them in floating like this, they should go well. I'm going to lift this just a little bit so that people can see. Does that help a little bit? And moving it forward slightly. Back. Back. Okay. Are we positioned well there, guys? Okay. And that way they can see a little more. But um, my challenge to you would be to buy one box of gardenias and just take them home and watch them and experiment with them so that you get that confidence that is okay when you've worked with them. It's like Marisa's like, I'm taking them. They'll be grand, and she was right. They are fabulous. But if you've never touched them or used them, if you come to flower school, you'll touch them and use them because we use them in the advanced course. But it's really kind of important to experiment with it. So I challenge you to do that. Carolyn? Another great question is, um, is it different using them directly from the bush, say maybe in your yard, versus the ones that you get at market? Again, you want to hydrate them if you get them local. Um, and it's different varieties. The commercial ones are grown right. to be a cut, yeah. whereas the garden varieties are grown to be a bush. So sometimes they do last differently. But I've had people who use them off their plants and they love them mm -hmm. because they're different sizes mm -hmm. that way. And you mm -hmm. can get buds and you can right. get... And there's even one farm that I'm aware of that sells them as a cut stem that has like four mm -hmm. or five gardenias on it that's well, just that amazing. On a you know, I bought one and took it home and I got about four days out of it on a stem, which I was pretty pleased with Yeah, I with would be that. happy with that. Yeah, yeah, so that was kind of fun. David? So Alana reminded us of a great tip, which is if you have to touch the petals, dip your hands in cold water first. Thanks, and Alana. Keep your hands wet. Alana's been to flowers. Yes, she has. Hours. I wonder if the reason why if I'm, I'm, I don't get so scared is because my hands are sweaty all the time. But and that so would you're seem already oily, wet. But I wonder if that's... That may help yeah, create that I'm buffer. Because sure. wet hands do help sure. a lot. Oh my gosh. So yeah. what do you guys think? If you love it, tap your screen. Share some love. If you know somebody who is a gardenia aficionado, tag them so that they can get on and join us and see what's going on. Yeah, and how great would this be, you know, in an entry to, you know, Halloween party? Oh, and it would fra be so right. fragrant. But the, it's, the possibilities are endless. It doesn't have to be gardenias. What if these were Phalaenopsis blooms? Oh, wow. Or just orchid blossoms or yeah. even just a few garden roses. So it doesn't... This, this would be fun for Thanksgiving, too. I mean, it really doesn't have to be. No, it's it very doesn't. sophisticated. It doesn't. Yes. It doesn't yes. Sprout, shout out beaver orange. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh my gosh, why don't I move this okay. one so that you can start pulling in your oh, next yes. pieces. I'll go the other direction. And then David, Carolyn, why don't you let me know what's going on out there? Anything? I guess there's nothing going on Or should I just get started? <laughs> okay, I'm getting inundated. <laughs> Everybody's excited to use the gardenias off their bushes now. I love it. <laughs> Send us pictures too, we want to see. <laughs> okay, so the next design uh, is inspired by you. Uh, last week, uh, we have been seeing a lot of re well, a lot of requests for the best bow style. Yeah, we, and we haven't been doing that, yes. so we need to. Yes. However, this is a challenge for me. Yeah, best bow is not what you are known for. No, it's not. And because Halloween is a scary time of the year, I figured, well, I'll be scared too on live and, sh and do best bow for you. How about that? Put yourself <laughs> out there walking on the yeah. edge. Yeah, however, I did have some help yesterday by teacher Carolyn. So I, yes, so I, I actually did have to kind of prep this first just to make myself feel confident. So I get scared too. So, but isn't it and true, online. <laughs> we as, as a team yeah. all kind of support each other and yeah. learn from different things. And so mm -hmm. when I'm going, oh my gosh, Marisa, I need something that's linear. What do I do? And you come up with it and you're like, Carolyn, help me. I've yeah. got to do best yeah. bow. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. And it was just so fun working together in the, in the warehouse. So. I know. When I came in this morning and saw the things you guys had set up, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait for what more. What were they doing yesterday? <laughs> yeah, well, what were they doing yesterday? And the mouse is a nice play when the cat's away. <laughs> uh, so for this one, I am going to go the traditional orange and black to match Leanne. Okay. okay. And how perfect is this black? So then I should probably put on my, my orange earrings then, uh, too. Why are they We're not on yet? Because I was waiting for the orange oh, part. Oh, and so oh. now I'll switch to orange. See? We have 
had to, you know, I, I didn't want to spoil your white one. I was being sophisticated <laughs> earlier for the gardenias, and now I'll be trashy for the pumpkins. Isn't it, it's, isn't it interesting, though, that the white pumpkins are so elegant compared to the orange? Ones? I know. It's just, yeah. I don't know. There's orange at my house. Yeah, oh, I well. didn't do white. I guess my house isn't sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> but how cool is this black compote with the black foam? Why not? Right? It's, it's already it's your mechanics are kind of being invisible. Exactly. Which is good. Uh, for me, you don't have to do this, but I like to score my foam. Oops, don't look at that. That part didn't get fully soaked bad, Marisa. Oh my gosh, we didn't see that. <laughs> and this is just wedged into the container and there's still space in here to add water. I didn't add water here just because we have to move things around. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? So for the best bow, I'm gonna talk you through this because this is what helps me figure this form type of style out. I'm actually gonna design with my foam going side to side because the form is gonna have to come out this way and come up here. If I do it this way, it just, for me, it won't help me, it won't force me to go this way. Right, it gives so you that like more, yeah, that's that. the way you're gonna go, definitely. Okay, breathe deeply. Okay, I need, these ones and this was actually oh this is what else i wanted to share with everybody a lot of the material i'm using today is actually either preserved and or has been already dried right and that's so it's been, very long lasting yeah it's been just sitting and around. it looks haunting already it really does okay so with Best Bow, Best Bow is known for a lot of different varieties and different types of materials, right? Mm -hmm. And using them in their natural state. So that's what I'm going to let them talk to me and they're going to tell me where they want to go. So let's see. Look at the beautiful curve in that already. So let's just take advantage of that. Oh, did I not have my knife in my pocket? Oh, I have it. I'm oh, like, God, I left side. You I was like, oh, shame, knife. shame. Okay. So... I'm really going to establish my form first with my foliages. That's what helps me with this type of Such style. Such a gorgeous diagonal line coming I mean, through there. Yeah. Yes. Okay, this one is quite straight. I might keep that one for later. Let's see. Maybe... Well, actually, I'm gonna want I, now I want this piece now. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to place the other one over here to the... Ooh, I'm going to go that way. I'm not going this way because it, it was it's the back side. Going this way. So now I have this beautiful form here. Nice line starting here. coming through there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I have all these pieces kind of already picked out. <laughs> oh, we're cheating. <laughs> well... Yeah, so I think that was the piece that went to the side. It's okay. We'll just we'll just compensate with other things. I will turn this around here in one moment so you all can see that we'll go right there. Okay, so I've already established somewhat of this the form that's going to go asymmetrical yeah. form, mm -hmm. if you will. Okay, that's a great form. It's very graceful looking. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep that. Okay, then. Uh, this curly willow, I don't know how long this has actually been hanging out in the warehouse, but let me tell you, this is perfect for this time of year because it's dried and it kind of looks... It got kind of gnarled and dark. It looks scary. It is scary. Let me carry some. Yeah, I just don't want you to grab my knife. Okay. I want this, this stuff. Okay, I'll take it this way. Okay. And I will actually give you... I think that's so anything that has really nice curve, that's what I want. That's what okay. I would like for you to give me. Looking for furniture <laughs> pieces. Okay. Oh boy, look at this. I'm just gonna snap this. And then, oh, okay. Look at the line here. Look at this. Look at that. That works How fabulous so well. is this? Okay. okay. Maybe just one more. Ooh. There's a great curvy. That's probably good. That's a curvy girl. <laughs> and let's maybe, ooh, let's put that right in front here. So this is actually going to be a little bit different than was practiced yesterday, but that is just fine. <laughs> you know, flowers never do the same thing twice, do they? All right, and yes, I did bring back my 
color enhanced bird of paradise leaves. I mean, what? I had to they use. They are so perfect. I had to Halloween. use this for Halloween. They almost kind of remind me of bat wings. So let's see. And this will also help define. Yes, it is a bat flying through. <laughs> we just have a flying bat. Let's see where to put these. Carolyn, David, anything <laughs> happening out there? Yeah, we have a great question on YouTube. If you don't have black foam, is it possible to spray green foam black? I've, I have actually done that before. However, I only do that for event work. If that was to go out for a client and your flowers need to last, you know, the five to seven days, I would not do that. Mm -hmm. But I would for event work, though. Yeah. Um, and it's not the same. It doesn't give you that same matte finish, so uh, not necessarily a good thing. But for event where it's just for the moment, you can get away with it. Um, but no. You'll want to invest in the midnight. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at how cool that is. You that's know, Leanne, gorgeous. I think I need to grab well, something down Do you need here. me to help you find things? We've got yeah. more stuff. Yeah. I'll get this out of the way because it's probably going to be needed elsewhere in a second. And we'll get rid of the base so that it doesn't take up space. Right. Got so many things here. Can you guys all see the strelitzia, the bird of paradise leaves, how they have just contorted to already? And then she painted them with the matte black from Design Master so that it didn't get shiny. You didn't want it to glow and glisten. You wanted it to be much more abstract. Oh, you holding oh let me do this for you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my and god. Maybe one of these. And maybe one of these as well. Oh my I will god. continue with this now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I guess we really have gone over to the dark side now. Okay, maybe this that one. one. I want to see if you can really design with I'm those gonna, things I'm, on. This is what I did not practice. They're actually on backwards. <laughs> I put them on backwards. <laughs> I actually did not practice with these on yesterday, so how about that? <laughs> this is truly brave and daring. <laughs> Oops, what? Well, <laughs> they went right underneath the table. I can see it. So placing in the lilies, oh my gosh, my, my fingernails are getting caught in the stems. This is why florists can't have enormous long fingernails. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, and I... For now, for just for the life, I am going to break the rules. I'm actually, I'm going to keep the pollen in. Because it looks it cool. It looks fabulous. Just wait until I turn this around. I'm just going to But I know it's one. wrong. You're supposed to take the pollen off because it stains and gets dirty. But you know what? This is for the moment. And we get to choose what rules we follow and what rules we don't follow. Mm -hmm. We're not following the take the pollen off rules. So those of you out there saying, aren't you going to take the pollen off? Yes, we would. But no, we're not. So. How about a few stems of coxcomb? Okay. Because that definitely looks Halloween-y because it looks like kind of like brains. brains. Look at the brains. Aren't those fun? Oh my gosh. Oh, and then can you show them the little tiny little pieces? Oh, I know. Look at the little baby ones that are coming up on the sides. I mean, that's the thing that's cool about coxcomb. You get the main bloom. Sometimes you get these little treasures of mini brains. Now that's a fun question. Do you know somebody with a big brain? And do you know somebody with a little brain? Hmm. Yeah, we all know the little brain person, don't we? Oh well, no comment. <laughs> but how cool you could uh, use those little tiny pieces for like, okay, I need to take these off because now I'm damaging my flowers. <laughs> but it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Uh, but so now we know we can't design wearing long fingernail gloves. And you know, I've actually tried, I've, I've seen some people actually design with uh, um, like latex gloves, and I, I, I have to feel, I have to yeah. touch things. Yes, I do. All right, I'm going to just place this last piece of coxcomb in here and then turn this around so you all can see. Oh, that deep orange just sets off the orange of the lilies so like it, like it. well. Isn't that grand? If you like it, tap the screen. If you want to share this with someone that needs to see Bespo Halloween style or Halloween Bespo style, share the video out. Let's get the world to know what's going on. I'm going to tap and show some love because I like this. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. How about a few orange calla lilies? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Here I come. Ooh, 3.30. Gosh, 
gosh, this is going so fast. It is always. It just flies. It does. So you and the tribe, do you have a question for Marisa? Do you have anything you'd like to know about her design philosophy, her theories, her thoughts, what she eats for dinner? You know, just ask away. Feel <laughs> free because she's here. She's yours to answer mm -hmm. questions. And then um, I want to tell you, last week we announced that we had 10 people hmm. that could save $200. And I think we had about six people who took advantage of that so far. Mm -hmm. I may be off on my numbers. But the number is not up to 10 yet. So the button is still working. So if you've been thinking about going to flower school and you've been thinking about online studies, this is your chance. Register. Use the code LOVEFLOWERS. David, is it up on screen? Thanks. So on the code is LOVEFLOWERS, all capital. Go ahead and enroll in Basic Floral Design Online. Use that code and you'll save $200. And then you can have some one-on-one -on -one instruction as you study Flower School Online. And when you submit your lessons, Marisa may be one of the people who helps evaluate and guide you to get to success. Carolyn will also be there. Michelle, Shell, myself. You get the whole team because we all support you when you do flower school. So it saves $200. Just use the code LOVEFLOWERS. It will turn off as soon as we hit 10. But I know it's still on. So I think there's maybe four spaces left um, for that. So if you're thinking about it. Oh, you're using some of Jim's foliage. Look at this evergreen. Isn't that great? Oh my gosh, so he harvested, harvested this in Vancouver and brought it over. Carolyn, what you got there? Yeah, Andrew would like to know if the leaf, preserved leaves are called copper beech. It is. It is the beech, and um, it comes in golden beech, copper beech. Uh, I think you can get sort of a burgundy, but it is beech, so definitely. So you can see now that... Oh, Crespedia, how great is that? I'm adding in some Crespedia. And once I turn around, it will be a little bit of a surprise for you. Um, however, you're just going to have to wait. So that. this is your chance because there's a surprise coming. So share it out so we get as many people here as possible. David? Well, in response to your use of gloves, we have Cindy who says she has contact dermatitis and has to design with gloves. Yes. You can get used to anything if you have to. That's right. I like that. That is so true. And you know, when I showed everybody the Osage oranges, these give off a sap that causes contact dermatitis for a lot of people. And so when I work with these, I oftentimes do wear gloves. I too struggle because I don't want to stick to things. But I know several designers who have just trained themselves to wear gloves all the time. And when you think about it, surgeons wear gloves. And so if they can conduct surgery, and have gloves on, we as florists should be able to. Now, when they're orange with long fingernails, <laughs> maybe not. But latex gloves um, or non-latex should work. Carolyn. Uh, two questions. The first one's referring to um, the gift, the code, Love Flowers. Is it for uh, basic only? Basic or advanced. It can be used either way. It can be used in the classroom or online. I only have one more classroom class. It starts on Monday and we do have two spaces in it. So if you really want to come to Portland and get it done in three weeks and be finished, we have two places in the October 21st class. And then the $200 Love Flowers code is good for basic, advanced, online, or classroom. What the else? The next question is from Nancy and she would like to know how long Marisa has been a floral designer and how did she get started? Oh, oh that's great. Yeah, tell them your story. <clears throat> Long story short, because I cannot wait to turn this around. Uh, I've been doing this for almost 20 years. Very long time. And she just, last Saturday, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. was her two-year anniversary here at FDI. So we're very excited yeah. to have you. And I'm, I, I just, this is the best job I've ever had. So. Uh, and I paid her <laughs> to say that. <laughs> oh, she did, and it's the truth. Um, actually, long story short, uh, I, when I lived in Massachusetts when I was 18, uh, I worked at a wholesale greenhouse out there, which Leanne just found out. I just found that out. I was like, really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize you'd ever lived on the East Coast. I'm like, yeah. I thought you were a West Coast girl. Oh, I did. Oh anyway. my gosh. <laughs> uh, so um, I don't like to fly in airplanes. So I'm from Orange County. So I used to drive home. It was only a few times. 
But I used to see flor floral designer wanted everywhere, and I was like, oh, maybe I want to do that. And I enrolled in a class, and there you go. And here you are now. And we <laughs> so are so nice. glad that she's here because it is great. Okay, so I'm just going to place a few more pieces of ruscus just to give it a little bit more uh, volume visually. It just kind of looks a bit too airy. Now, so anybody else has questions, we've got about 20 minutes. And I know she's got one more design she wants to share with you and a special surprise, cool. but we've got about 20 minutes. So if you've got questions, make sure you get them in there so that we can get them answered during the live. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this around and actually you'll see what happens when I turn around. But this was inspired again by Carolyn. However, if I were you, I would get ready to start to get that heart. Get that gonna, loving you're gonna going. Wanna, you're gonna David, you this. better be ready too now because you're going to be up next here. You've got this coming up here. Look at the belly balls. Like they're scary. Can you see them? <laughs> okay, I'm going to yank one out just so that we can show up really close. See those eyeballs? I couldn't believe it when I came in and she had all these little googly eyes. And then she tricked me and added a googly eye to my osage oranges. I'm like, really? Oh my gosh. We have googly eyes everywhere. So my question is to you, I mean, this was scary for me to do on camera. Do you like the best bow design? Oh, you're getting tons and tons of love. Great. Oh, good. David, <laughs> can you put the picture up of this? Because there's one more oh, surprise yes. Oh, that yes. goes with oh, yes. it. When, can I tell them really quick? Go. Okay, so when I went to, when I called the grocery store yesterday, I was like, do you have googly eyes by any chance? And she's like, I do, but they're only glow in the dark. Oh, no. <laughs> and I was like, I want them. So, is it there? It's up. Okay, so <laughs> we can't turn the lights off in the studio, but now you see just how cool that is. Marisa, you did an amazing job on that. <laughs> that is just the best ever. Well, again, I want to I wanna thank Carolyn, because she really helped me with this, too. So, it was a collaborative between her and I. So. You know, the Tulum <laughs> tribe always collaborates. That's what makes it so fabulous. Who do you collaborate with? You know, maybe it's us every week. Maybe it's with your teachers while you're at flower school. But whatever you do, having a tribe to collaborate with makes all the difference in the world. You saw how grand that was. David, while we move things up here, why don't you show the picture one more time, and then I'll help Marisa get her things here. One more time. We have googly eyes. Okay. Glow in the dark. If you love it, share it. Show your friends. Tag a friend. And let's spread the Google eyes across the internet universe. <laughs> oh my gosh, you should see all the hearts coming up on the screen. Yeah. I know, that was one of my most favorite things ever. <laughs> Do you need this for this one? No, I don't. So I'm going to move gonna, this over here then. The only thing is uh, Okay, that nice. just gives you a little more space. Okay, are we sort okay, of ready? Sort of. Okay, <laughs> David, bring it back. Just running out of time, so this is gonna You're on. <laughs> this is gonna test my my skills here with speed. Okay. You can do anything in ten minutes. Okay. Oh, let's see. Well, the thing is, is that this is very simple, impactful, and the only thing that's really that needs water are these awesome calla lilies. And just to let you know, I kept these out of water last night, so, so we can get this really, really nice curve. You'll see what I'm gonna do here in a second. So for here. I'm going to have to design this way because it's just kind of awkward and you won't see it here and I can't design backwards. So here um, I found this really cool branch that's been over at the classroom for a very, very long time. I went ahead and color enhanced this half of it and I left the other part natural and you'll see why. The cool thing about this is this part and I just love that. The way that this is actually in here is once I actually set the branch in there, it just kind of fell into its own place. Yeah, it did. Yep. And I'm, I positioned it a little differently so that it shows better on yes. Instagram. So um, those people can see it. So here, um, it's at a diagonal and I just put some glue dashes in here just for extra security because once I start designing in it, it could fall out. So this just gives it nice stability. So it's nice and stable. So you've got glue here. 
here and then back here. Back there, so okay. So it it's on a diagonal, and that's just like how it likes to sit. And if you're gonna put glue dashes on glass, make sure it's very, very clean. I use rubbing alcohol, yeah. and that way it just doesn't yeah. slide at yeah. all. Yeah. Okay, let's see, how did I start this? Let's just, I need to put these in first. Okay, so, like I said, the only thing really that's gonna be in water is the calla lilies. So I had to, these oh. are perfect for the holiday, Halloween holiday. So picking through the hundreds of these that we have. Yeah, <laughs> aren't they great? Yes. Oh my gosh. Literally picking this one that is wide because really here, again, I'm almost doing reverse proportion. So I'm gonna go this way and down uh -huh. versus going high. So like you teach in the advanced class yep. with reverse Fibonacci. Exactly. And if you don't know about that, you need to come join us for flower school. Use the love flowers code and you save $200. And literally, I just took the tendrils and kind of wrapped it around and it just, it just sits there. Now okay. this one. This guy is broken, so I'm going to cut him oh. off. We can't have a broken we one. We can't. No. I might have to uh, use a few glue dashes here just to support this one. So this one, it just has very long that legs. Makes, yeah. <laughs> and just how it brings the line down here. So let's see. I'm basically gonna just take the glue dashes and adhere it to the other one just for extra stability, even though it'll probably be fine because I didn't do this for practice yesterday. <laughs> Always brave to see how it goes. Yes. Okay, let's see here. If I just nestle that one inside, and let's see. I'm then taking some tendrils and just coming around this side. So you already have, there's your, there's your emphasis right there. Oh. That is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Grand. Now that little, um, how should I say this? I don't want to say hook, but that mechanic there of that curly willow, the, that ring, if you will, that's where, that's basically the binding point, if you will. Everything is going to, all the calla lilies are going to go right in there, right in there, cool. and they just balance there. So then if you stand about a half a step behind, there we go. That way, when you come in this way, they can still see all yes. of this. And that is centered well with um, both cameras so that everybody can see, because this is just too grand. Can I actually turn this mm -hmm. way? So I can just see it right in there. And then just the beautiful drape that the calla lilies just do, and then just the line, and oh my gosh. So did you dehydrate those? Yes, okay. yeah, I had told them that I left them. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, badly in, oh my gosh. Yeah. So I dehydrate, I kept them out of water last night. However, be, be careful about that, leaving them out, because I actually left them in here, and when they, and there was no water. And then, because it was hanging on the lip, some of some them- Some of them bent? Yes, some uh. of them bent, so, yeah. Oh, am I missing that? There you go. So there. No one, does anyone have questions? I have a couple really great comments. One from Rick. He's been in the business for 30 years and is now working with 20-something designers. Whoa. And they are loving collaborating and uh, learning from each other. Nice. You know, that is so true because sometimes getting a fresh perspective from someone changes your whole thought process yourself. That's one of the reasons I love teaching because students bring in something different to the classroom, even just a question they may ask that makes me then think about, what is it that I do? Why do I do that? And then sometimes it changes my mind. It makes me think a little bit differently. Carolyn. And then a great question, question from Julie. Do the calla lilies stay in shape drooping once you place them in water again? Pretty, pretty, yeah, pretty much they do stay. Mm -hmm. They may become a little bit more turgid, filled with water, and may kind of, you know, move a little bit, but not really. Yeah, for the most part they stay because as they dehydrate and they curve, what's happening is this side of the vessels is compressing and this side is elongating. Just think about how when you stretch and such, so this is compressed, this is elongated, then it starts to drink, it still is going to maintain that compression. 
so that it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. And I don't know if everyone can actually see that I'm actually using two different color um, of the purple calla lilies just to give it a little bit of contrast so it's not so... It's great shading on mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. So you've got shades and tones, yes. I would say. So I wonder what that color harmony is. Hmm, so we have shades and tones. What do you think? So, where should we turn it? No, I'm suggesting that you show both of the colors. Oh, oh that's oh, oh. okay. So mm -hmm. there is the lavender and then the deeper purple. So we have a shade and a tone, which gives us what color harmony? That's a question for you all. Type it in there. What's your color harmony? Shades and tones. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what else do I need? What else? There's something missing. Uh, let's see here. Oh, more of the lower leaves. This. Can't live without the leaves. No, and what this is actually going to do is unify the black over here and just create more line. And oh, this is. I wish I wish you all could have been here in the studio yesterday when Carol and I were playing with this stuff. We were just like, ooh, ah, oh, it just. <laughs> it was just so fun. And again, because these are dried, even though these are going to touch the water, they don't need to be in the water. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So now you have almost like these continuous lines. Oh. Ooh, I love that. So, <laughs> you know, it is so fun how flowers keep impressing us no matter how many years we've done it. Mm -hmm. We just get mm -hmm. so excited. Just all these little tiny things. Every day being a florist can be like that. I mean, it's just like, oh my gosh, I amazed myself again. Look at this flower. Watch it bloom. Mm -hmm. And... It sounds sort of silly, but it's so true. It is true. And let me also point out, too, what's really interesting about this design is the way that this ended up happening. Because, um, again, here's the beauty of the space here of the glass. And because all of the calories stems are down here, and this is, you can't, basically, you can't see the stems here. At all. So look how. So it's just magic and pristine. It's so pretty. It this. is great. I love that. That's negative space, negative I would assume. Space. Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay, we've got about five, well, about eight minutes. So, questions, Carolyn? Uh, Ellen on YouTube has a great question about the calla lilies. Why would you um, take the time to dehydrate them when you can manipulate them manually? Mm. It's less work. <laughs> if you manipulate them manly, ma manually when they are fully hydrated, sometimes they crease and kink and you don't get the curve you want. Whereas if you let them dehydrate and then do a little bit of the manual manipulation, it's just easier. Now, if you don't have the time, you may not be able to, but if you know you're going to be doing that and you can allow a little extra time, it's just easier uh, and safer as far as kinking and um, compression on the, t on the stem itself. So that is a great question. Any others? Okay, guys, do you like it? I think she should stop, don't you? Yeah, okay, so. Okay, well, maybe not. You know she's never going to stop. Well, I know I might. Um, our friend, Jim, Jim, who came today and brought these beautiful berries. Is the pre precious? It's, it's Beauty Berry. Beauty Berry. And Calicarpra is the, yes. the botanical name. And I was like, oh, these need to go into this one. And they do. But I, don't, but I didn't practice, so I don't know if it's going to work or not. So, okay, again, so scary. Do, it's scary. Uh, let's try. Let's See. Oh, but look at oh. that. Oh my gosh, they are the most perfect thing. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe even over here. What do you guys think? Should you, should you put them in there or leave them out? You get to vote. <laughs> yes, no. Yes, no. Get your vote in there. I'm trying. I just need to find. You got to find the perfect yep, spot. I got to find the spot. And look at just how. The so, Jim, if you're watching, thank you so much. We're going to have so much fun. I've already planned some videos out with the oranges because I know I want to do that. And then Marisa had first dibs on the cool stuff. Um, I'll have to oh. make a shout out. Oh my gosh, does yes, that yes. look like the best? That is so grand. We're not done. We're not done. How could you do anything more? It's just too beautiful all by itself. Oh, I love the 
the berries, and it all shows. <laughs> did you plan to match every arrangement that you made? Yeah, I did. I did. I didn't bring any people's <laughs> earrings. Oh my gosh. No, I don't match. So the last element, excuse me. Excuse me. We have to add our spider. Oh, so, because we have spiders. Yes. <laughs> so this was so funny. And again, I have to give props to Carolyn on this one. So, <laughs> Carolyn, I cannot leave you two together <laughs> no, ever can. again. She can. <laughs> uh, so, so Myrna and Michelle, look what happens when you're not here to help us. We get out of control. <laughs> um, so here, I'll just show you really quick. So we're just, and so this is why, honestly, why this, <laughs> why I did not paint that part of the branch black was so you could see the spider. However, you don't have to put the spider here because it's, it's novelty, right? And it but does, it needs it. I know, but it does, it does cheapen it a little bit. Back up just a little bit so, um, so they can see how fabulously cheap it is. That is the finest spider money can buy. How can you call it cheap? But however, Carolyn's suggestion was that we should, we need to invest in some higher end spiders. You don't even like my spiders? Oh my gosh, now I've been spider slammed. Oh my gosh, public shaming. Oh, so hopefully you like this one, you find it kind of fun, but... I love it. Yeah. It looks great on camera. Doesn't yeah, it looks look a lot good? better than it did out in the warehouse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's perfect against our wall. So guys, do you love it? Let's vote. Which is your favorite? We've got this one. We have the pumpkins. And we have the best bow. Which do you love the best? Because we like to know what you think, because those are the types of things we'll do more of. So is it Bespo with the googly eyes? Is it the pumpkins with the gardenias? Is it the callas with the talancia? David, what you got there? Everybody wants rhinestone spiders. And glitter. Oh. 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 There's your high end spiders. So okay. next year. Next, next year. year, we're gonna have to find that. But can I just say, sorry, so this is where my mind okay. goes. Uh oh. Can you imagine a rhinestone, uh, like a, a diamond rhinestone spider in here? <gasps> oh. oh we may have to find that. Actually, there's actually a silver spider out there. <laughs> oh. But it's on one of the, it looks cheap though. <laughs> we need a rhinestone one that yeah, does a, a sophisticated one. rhinestone <laughs> spider. Okay. Well, that's kind of stretching it. So, David, put up the googly eyes again with the so that they can remember what that did. It's up. Okay. Okay. So, to have you guys voted, which was your favorite? Did you like the gardenias? Did you like the best bow? Or did you love the spiders? Okay, David, go ahead and bring it back to us now. Because, you know, our time is done. <laughs> I don't know how we're ever <laughs> going to be able to keep up with this next time. This is probably the greatest live we have ever done in our <laughs> life. You know, we do amaze ourselves, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun. Now, if you would, as you work on your Halloween fun, take a picture and post it. Post it on Instagram, post it on Facebook, but tag Floral Design Institute because we want to see Yeah, I love, I love it when I get to walk in the morning and there's, there's just emails from you sharing just, look what I did yesterday. I, I love seeing that, that your work. So please do, send it to us. Take the inspiration that Marisa just gave you, do your own creation, post it, Tag Flows on Institute, that way we can see. Because now it's your turn. If you haven't already done it, join us for Flower School. A few of you can use the Love Flowers code and save $200. If you haven't already done it, share out this video so that more people can see the fun with Marisa. And if you loved it, tap your screen. We'll go back through and look at the vote to see which one of them won. <laughs> and look and see. But for now, our time's up. We want to say goodbye and love y'all. And get out there and do something you love. Mm -hmm.